Hello guys and welcome back to West Brom Fan TV. Now, today we're addressing something that we haven't really made too much awareness in the last vlogs. We've mainly just been focusing on the football, to be honest, and I guess showing a bit more positivity because it's very, very depressing news what we've seen seen happen like in these recent times at the club. Um, it's quite disastrous because we've had further news about it today, but I'm just going to briefly run down what's happened. So, um, we're owned by a chap called Guchuan Lai, for people who obviously don't pay as much attention to us as um, to the club as we do fans. But from an outside world, an outside perspective, um, we're owned by a Chinaman called Guchuan Lai. Took over the club, I think, twenty sixteen was twenty seventeen around that time, around that season, twenty sixteen seventeen season when it, it was actually quite a positive season for, for the club. Um, and well, things at the start were. Seemed all right, nothing really too much wrong. I think we've spent a decent amount on bringing in Jake Livermore. And stuff's just gone pear-shaped since then. Uh, everything's going tits up with him. And I, I, I seriously don't know why he's, he's not just selling up. So let's cut to the big issue is the fact that he's took... Well, this is the original issue. He's took £5 million out of the club. His deadline was way earlier in the year. He had that extended again to today now he's still not paying it back this is a, a man who's supposed to be the third richest owner in the league let's just let that sink in this bloke is worth over two billion pounds now I, I cannot get my head around why he, he wouldn't be able to pay this loan off unless there's some dodgy things going on behind the scenes and he's just using us to prop up his businesses in china because it's it's completely ridiculous how a man can be so rich, yet using us. It's like we're being used as some sort of Trojan horse for him to get away with stuff. Um, I just can't get my head around it. And so, obviously, the deadline was today, and it's came out again. This man has promised the club he would pay back this money on this day or before. He 100% promised that. it was, It was, he came out in an interview, say, Ron Gawley even said it. And now, today, we've had news come out that this £4.95 million loan, pretty much £5 million, hasn't been paid back. Now, I think it's panic stations at this point, because it's not. this isn't the main issue now. Something even worse has happened. We took out a £20 million loan from a business that... Um, if we don't get promoted and secure parachute payments again and all the money and revenues of the Premier League, we got, we've got a possibility of going bust. It is that serious. You look at the players' wages we've got at the minute. Yes, you look at the likes of Blues and other teams, Reading, who've had financial problems, but they have not got the players on like the types of wages we do. We've got some massive names at the club and I just can't get my head around this bloke can be so rich and... Not just proper. It, it, it's five million. This bloke's worth two billion, and he cannot afford to spare five million. I mean, all that's going to happen is if this carries on, he's going to get in trouble, and he's going to probably have to pay more in fines and stuff to um, the right authorities. But I just can't get my head around it. And the thing that annoys me the most is the EFL won't do anything. They won't step in. They won't, you know, give us a bit of publicity about this. And, you know, get, it, get the nail on the head. Get this thing nipped in the bud immediately and get the club up for sale. And an owner in who actually cares about the club, he actually wants us to succeed and do well and isn't just using us as some sort of tool for him to prop up his other businesses. He just doesn't care about the fans. Yes, the ticket prices this season have been amazing, but we're a massive club. For this division. Anyone you ask. They know West Bromwich Albion Football Club. We're a founding member of the Football League. And we're being used as absolute mugs at the minute. By this bloke. And nothing's going to get done about it. The protests we're doing. Yes. It's raising awareness of, of it. But I can't see it changing nothing. This man does not care. Holding up a bit of white paper. Ain't going to make a difference. Um, and. Things we, there's nothing we can really do as fans without getting arrested that's really going to pay much attention. If we scale a mass pitch invasion, we're just going to get deducted points. And who suffers at the end of that? We do as fans. Because he's not going to give a, a care in China, is he? he? He just doesn't care about the club. And 
if we don't go up in the next two, three seasons, it's going to be seriously worrying. We could be the next Derby County because this bloke does not care. And the longer he holds back, it's it, it, we're just going to go down in value. If we don't go up, we're going to go down more and more in value. He had a big quite recently, quite a big chunk of money. Can't remember the exact figure, but he had an offer for the club and he did not sell up. So it's like he's using us as a gambling tool. Um, he's keeping hold of us and he's took out all these loans to boost us up to the Premier League. And if we don't get there, then it seems like he's just going to go and we're going to be left in absolute shit streak, to be honest. I think that's the best way to put it. I'll try not to swear this video, but it's true. We're in trouble. Serious trouble. Yes, we're playing amazing at the minute. Take nothing away from Corbran and them players on the pitch. They've got nothing else that they can give. They've been amazing. I think the response he's given, the fitness stuff, it's been spectacular. What Bruce did, um, it's clear to see he was non-existent. He's brought in some cracking players, Bruce. Yeah, fair enough. But he didn't have the fitness and the training routines to back that up. And... It's a shame that I have to be so negative, but it's true. We need a we need a serious awareness being spread because we're going to be in trouble if this goes tits up. I mean, it's it's a massive gamble that this owner is like doing. It's it's livelihoods, my jobs at this club as well. It's not just well, it's like my life to be honest. I do this channel um, for you guys. Literally everything I talk about is West Brom related, pretty much. See someone at the gym. Well, how's West Brom doing? Always talking about it. This is this club is massive for all of us, and this bloke is just using it. It's, it's like he's put um, he's put um, twenty million on black. It's the equivalent of, of a roulette wheel. You got black and red, and he's put fifty million on black. It's a fifty-fifty chance of what's going to happen. Obviously, it's not fifty-fifty with us because it's the championship, and anything can happen at any given time. Wigan Athletic could go and beat. Um, Burnley, Sheffield United any day even though look where they are it, it's just a complete gamble anything can happen in this league look where we were um, a few months ago we were well, two months ago actually on the 29th of October we rock bottom of the league and now we're ninth. this league is crazy we could easily slip back and go back down to the 24th in the division and then if we end up in League 1 then we are in serious trouble I just can't get my head around this owner he's a clown more awareness needs to be spread more things need to be done to nip this in the bud and to actually get the relevant authorities to do something about it because we are it is it, it's just such a big gamble to take out all this money and loans and stuff and there's no guarantee that we're going to go up so yeah and even if we do go up then what's going to happen after that is he going to keep hold of us are we going to finally be given to a, a financially safe owner who's going to take care of us and not use us as his plaything and a, just a, basically a tool to prop his other businesses. We need clarity, we need certainty, and we need something to actually happen and resonate that truly gives us reassurance as fans that things aren't going to go tits up. Because one, no matter what, what Ron Gawley says, how can we believe him? Look what he did to Reading. I mean, look at the financial stuff they've been going on. They had points deduction last season. And... Oh, Honestly, I, I could ramble on all day about this. I think you can all tell. It's pretty serious. And I've hopefully made it clear what the issue is at our club at the moment to an outside perspective, as well as people who are just genuinely interested in the club because it's quite mad. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next video will probably be the Reading vlog, which I can't all do, probably, because it's a home one. I usually do the away ones, then I'll be probably on Chesterfield. The away trip to there, which will be a interesting one. Non-league ground. I haven't really visited it before. Been to a few non-league ones, but never Chesterfield. Quite a big stadium as well. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling, stop ranting, because I'm just going to make myself look like an idiot and just repeat myself more and more. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Up the Albion, come on you baggies, and fuck Gutran Lai. Absolute knobhead.